course, that growing push to increase vaccination rates across the nation as the Delta variant now spreading rapidly through all 50 states. The variant first identified in India now makes up roughly 58% of all COVID-19 cases here in the United States. That's according to the CDC. So joining us now to talk more about this is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. And Dr. Nandy, I mean, it was fast. This highly contagious variant spreading through the U.S. You know, how fast did we see this first case? Uh, you're right, Glenn. It was super fast. The Delta variant was first detected right in the U.S. back in March. And by May, it, was, it represented just a small amount of our cases, about 3%. However, it did not take long for this variant to take hold, right, and spread farther and faster. By early June, Delta variant accounted for 31.3%. But get this, shortly after that, between June 20th and July 3rd, it was responsible for nearly 58%, 57.6% to be exact of the new cases diagnosed. Now it's in all 50 states. I have to admit to you, Glenn, that I'm a little bit concerned because our case numbers really have been quite low. On June 13th, for example, we had over 6,700 cases, just over 6,700 6, 6, new cases that day. But yesterday, one month later, we have just over 41,000 new cases in one day. So I'm a little concerned about what's happening. All right, Dr. Nandy, and people very concerned that even with the vaccine, you may be able to pick up this variant. There's still a lot of questions about that. Uh, and of course, the risk for hospitalization on the rise. What can you tell us about that? So let's start with the hospitalization, Glenda. So first, you know, virus-related hospitalizations had been down, just like our caseloads, but there's been a 9% increase since late June, and which is not surprisingly, which, which is coinc coinciding with the rise in the Delta variant cases. Unlike, right, the early days of the pandemic, we went through that when older people are more at risk. Now it's the younger populations that are being hospitalized. I get this, roughly 40%, 40% of new hospital admissions, Glenda, are adults between 18 and 49. Not what we saw in the early days of the pandemic. And unfortunately, doctors are also seeing teenagers and young children admitted in recent weeks. So the vast majority of those getting hospitalized or dying from COVID are folks that have not been vaccinated against this virus. Very important. It's great news. It shows that our vaccines are, are, are working. And of all the COVID deaths that happened in June, 99% of folks were not inoculated. But, but as I mentioned earlier, our numbers are on the rise. In just one week, 31 states saw a 50% or higher increase in new cases than the week Prior. These are just facts. It's not to alarm people, but it's just the facts that are happening. So I'm concerned that the more room you give this variant to spread, the more it can mutate and, and new variants may pop up and then weakening the effectiveness of our vaccines, which is you know, our biggest fear. So to me, it's imperative that more people get the shots, get vaccinated against COVID-19, whether it's uh, you know, a, a, you know, taking a lottery or whatever it's taking to incentivize people to do it. We need to do it before the variants take hold. Uh, that, that's concerning to me. So again, if you have the chance to get vaccinated, I implore you to please do so. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you again. My and pleasure. if you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, you can email him at Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter and we'll get it right to him.